So here I am going to do a little comparison. Hopefully you don't, there's not too much background noise. I got my pickup running here and the lights are on. Uh, it's dark. It's March 1st, um, 2019. About 6.30 in the evening. It's in the teens for the temperature. Uh, no, essentially no wind right now. But I'm going to do a little comparison between conventional fire starting methods. I've got in here... Um, cotton balls in Vaseline with some with some sawdust some cedar sawdust I've been uh, cutting some firewood and I'm going to compare it to the will light fire starter this is the pack model um, but this is a pretty neat little deal so I'm going to do a little comparison between the two of them here I'll get the fire uh, ready to get set up to be lit but this is the will light it's a little bit bigger than I would say a, a roll of electrical tape. I'll include the details of all three models. They have a, a, a pocket. The pocket one is smaller than this, about the size of a can of chew, I would say, or electrical tape. Uh, this one's a little bigger. And then there's a larger one that's called the Camp. It's about as big as a roll of um, duct tape. But uh, I'm just going to have some simple. Um, kindling for this this I've got pretty good tinder. I've got some old dry grass. I've got some uh, Inside of the bark off of a cottonwood tree and then some big pieces of bark that I'll use for my foundation and then of course the, the cotton balls and then You know some little kindling here and I'll feed both fires But I'll record them at the same time just to kind of compare them. So let me finish prepping this and then I'll, I'll uh, Be ready to go so as I take the well light out of its plastic protective wrapper, you see it's got a, a fuse here. So you just kind of un excuse me, uncoil that fuse, and then we'll set it down on this piece of bark to where I can get to the fuse, and then I'll uh, stack some kindling up over the top of it. Uh, you know, I'm not going to have much in the way of tinder as far as you know grass and other dry things this is designed to be able to get a a, a good fire started fast um, i've got some other stuff i've been cutting quite a bit of fire cutting and splitting quite a bit of firewood around here mostly cottonwood but i'll use small pieces here as uh kindling to get both to, to feed both fires Here we are ready to do a side-by-side -side comparison. I got my trusty old lighter here. I'll light this uh, these cotton balls with, with Vaseline on them to start this fire. Don't burn my thumb in the process. So I'm gonna have to kind of baby this and feed it a little. You know, if I had wind right now, this would be kind of tough to do. In the meantime, while I got that going, there we go. Kind of got some of that old dry grass taken off. Should spread out pretty good here. All right, now we'll go over here to the wheel light. Here's the wick or the fuse. All right, see the fuse going there. I want to kind of step back because this gets quite a fire going here Let's switch back over here here's this fire kind of needing baby along here there's the wheel light this is making a bunch of smoke I hope this background noise for my pickup running is not too much kind of looks like some fireworks going off there Here's the other fire with conventional methods, kindling and such. Got some old bark in here, some tinder. Kind of taking a minute to want it to get going here. See that thing's burning pretty hot. I don't know if you can see down inside there that glowing stuff. That's kind of molten stuff that pours out of there. I don't know what it is, but it's hot. Um,
Now, if I was somewhere that I had a little, I'm not a huge fan of cotton wood, but I guess I'm a fa fan of using what you got. I prefer pine or cedar, you know, good old dry stuff like that, um, to get a fire going. You know, it's cold out and it's been cold for a while, so one key ingredient to a fire is heat. Well, I don't have a lot here because this wood is cold. You know, once you kind of got a fire going and established, you can see it's kind of petering out here on me. That thing's still going. If I had some good, you know, dry pine, and this cottonwood's plenty dry, but needs some heat. If I had some good dry pine or cedar, I'm sure both of these fires would be taken off really well. But this one here is gonna need some babying. If I was in a survival situation with limited matches or ignition sources, I'd be kind of in a bind. See, I should probably be feeding this thing a little more uh, kindling uh, grass and things like that this fire over here it's getting going there's still heat coming out of that fire disc and as I feed it more fuel it'll get going more I kind of got this one back to life here but I don't think I'm gonna be without one of those in my possession when I'm outdoors I'll have it in my pack or in my pocket because if I'm in a bad way and need to get a fire going I've always got a lighter with me. If I have that with me, I can get a fire going most anywhere, whether it be out in the sagebrush or, you know, in the woods, in the hills where there's some timber, other fuel sources. But that's just, that's the medium sized model and that puts out a lot of heat. Um, you know, if I just kept keep feeding these, both of them, some fuel, It'll make a great big fire to get warm or, you know, cook some food, whatever, in a survival situation. You know, this one here is going, but it needs some attention, some babying. I'm a, I'm a fan of those Will Light products. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you got some valuable information out of this. Thank you.